Have you ever said, that plant blocks everything? <laughs> Now's the time to move it. That's right. <laughs> All the time. time. How many times do you hear that? Oh, you know, that's my, right. My plant is overgrown and I can't see. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's like a, uh, and also it's a safety thing. It's like I'm oh, afraid. Yeah. For, I've had people say, I'm, like, I'm afraid that somebody's going to hide behind it and jump me when I'm going into my house. Oh, yeah. Well, be. here. Now is the time to move it. Now is the time to move it. But a warning. A warning. There are just a few plants, and it's oaks. Like if you have an oak tree that you want to transplant or a birch that you want to transplant, they don't like to be dug up in the fall. And if they're at the garden center's nursery, and you can buy them and put them in, but you just can't take them out. So there's no fall digging of oaks and birches for the most part. Um, That's just one side. But what do you do? What do you do? The bigger the ball the better the transplant success. So again, it's, you got to keep as much soil around that root. And I know these things can get heavy. Trust me. You know, I didn't get this size from (laughs) handling (laughs) handling one gallon plants. Um, You know, there's one thing too, is like if it's a shrub, like say you want to move a butterfly bush, cut it in half, you know, make it small so that you can, Dig right. it up easier, move it around so that it's not all top heavy. Uh, any shrubs, for the most part, you can get away with that. And then you're going to move it to where you want it. And that here's how. Like, you know, people like so many shrubs now are done with a, you know, pot. So they put them in a pot as opposed to burlap. You can move it with burlap and then. You know, we B and B, bald and burlap. You're basically going to be kind of doing that. You use a piece of burlap that you can get at your local garden center. They usually sell it by either by a small roll or you can buy it by the yard. And that you can wrap the plant in that and drag it across the, the yard. Or you can find a pot and put it in a pot and just do that. That that would be easy, you know, easy to move if you have something that's small enough. But if you have something big you're going to want to wrap it in burlap so that all the soil doesn't fall off around the root system because they're they're getting you know, they're getting traumatized by being dug anyway but you don't want them to dry out when you shake all that soil off you don't want to do that so putting it back in the ground this is where you have to make sure you don't skim dig the hole twice the size of the root ball okay that's twice the size of the bottom that you took out and that around the hole, you want to mix half the soil that you just took out of the hole and half bumper crop. Okay, you want that organic matter to be mixed in with your soil. All right, and we want to plant, uh, place some more back in. Take that and put it back in the soil. And how much do I put in? Well, what you're going to do is you're going to measure with the opposite end of the shovel, and you're going to put enough in so that the plant is raised above the top of the the root ball so it's going to be at the same level or higher than it was and you take your shovel you put you put the bumper crop back in you pat it all down and then you turn your shovel upside down and you measure to to where your root ball ends and to where the top of the gr- of the root ball is and you want to make sure that your hand is above the grade of your land Did that make sense William? yep it's going yeah. to be above a little bit above the ground line right because yeah. what will happen is that you have this nice soft bumper crop and what's happening it's is settled. that it'll settle, settle down, yeah. it'll settle and one thing that's most important a lot of people don't do yeah. you're going to backfill and you're going to put all around that half and half mixture of bumper crop in your soil and you're going to put it all around the root system and then you're going to compact that soil all around the sides, eliminating any air pockets that could dry the root system. Because again, they're going to start to grow now, but they're also going to be vulnerable in this in the winter and spring. If there's like an air pocket, that section is going to possibly kill those roots. You want to make sure that you eliminate any of those air pockets. And again, tamping around the edge of it and the sides and making sure that that it's nice and solid and then you're going to water it and you're going to water it until the ground freezes solid so that's going to be a while 
Um, so again, don't uh, skimp there because that's the difference between success and failure. And again, the, don't forget this. <laughs> don't forget to go back and fill the original hole that you just took it from so nobody falls into it. You know, you'd be, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. mowing Oops. the grass. <laughs> You know, oh. Oh, it's like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, so you break your neck. So, again, make sure that you go and you fill backfill in that original hole. So, <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> anyway, 